hello hello dears and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna and today as every Monday and Friday it's time for the latest the most fresh ever Benidorm news update we are on the Levant beach by the way it's early in the morning it's 9 a.m. but already you can see quite a lot of people enjoying some lovely sunny walk first thing in the morning today we will discuss the situation in tourism what's new and Finally, we will see that Benidorm is not increasing their prices as um, everyone actually thinks they are. Then we will we'll be talking about the second already or third, probably, um, fire in the same exact place where, to be honest with you, they've scared us last year because it had a lot of consequences. And the last news will be about the special Benidorm gastronomy calendar when we will have specific events, celebrations, contests and for all those of you who love typical Spanish food or even drinks and cocktails. And obviously we will talk about the weather forecast, what is waiting for us this whole entire new week. Will it be raining because clouds and rain will cover almost all parts of Spain? Will Benidorm escape that? We will know in today's video. Let's start with the tourism situation first. As you all know, it's been quite busy last weekend and all this week we've seen quite a lot of people in Benidorm. So it's actually very, very nice. It kind of feels like we are in the summer season already. And now the occupancy, the average occupancy in Benidorm and uh, Costa Blanca is around 75% in specific places. Benidorm has 75, Valencia also has quite high occupancy and it's actually great because we are absolute leaders right now of the occupancy uh, back again uh, usually the average occupancy for these dates for the month of february in our region tends to be around 50 percent so half of the hotel is occupied and half is not and now it's 75 percent so three quarters of the hotel on average is usually booked plus the rooms that are out of service or rooms that are blocked for some kind of maintenance so hotels are really pretty busy not a lot of spaces are left in february the tourists that are arriving towards alicante elche airport miguel hernandez and then valencian airport 70 respectively and 80 percent 74 valencian airport and 80 for the airport of alicante elche are international tourists wow that's a lot of people that's a lot of people and the vast majority of them are not spanish so people keep coming people love our region and we couldn't be happier about it by the way very important news Excel Tour, which is a company that analyzes a lot of different data here for the hotel occupancy and apart hotels, all the official accommodation options in general, uh, they've situated the profit of our region way below the average in Spain, which basically means that Benidorm is way below the average of a lot of other cities and even regions, islands as well like for example Mallorca, Menorca especially because it's quite expensive there it's getting quite expensive uh, and then um, Canary Islands too and a lot of other parts in Spain in general so we do not Benidorm to be exact does not receive such a high profit as other regions do because Benidorm also has lower night rates and comparing with others if for example others um, increase the rate let's say 50 euros more per night Benidorm just did like 15 20 maximum this is the difference so a lot of people that actually say oh well Benidorm is getting really really expensive I'm not saying it's not I'm just saying that we should also see the other perspective Benidorm knows that people do not have the whole money in the world you know the vast majority of this these are families these are friends these are just solo travelers and in a lot of cases people budget throughout the whole entire year to be able to stay here for a week or a couple of weeks or maybe even months time for their holidays so Benidorm doesn't want to rise the prices so so high up don't get me wrong there are hotels that are still doing it in, in Benidorm and that's why they have slightly lower occupancy right now but those who do not are pretty well booked for the whole entire year already now for summer season for spring 
for the autumn and even for Christmas and New Year's holidays this year. So there are still places that, yes, it's getting more expensive, but it's everywhere. Turkey this year has raised the prices as crazy for food, for everything. So it's not cheap to go on holidays any longer in a lot of places, unless you book like self-catering or campsite or something like this. But overall, it's getting expensive everywhere because costs are increasing. So somehow they need to get the money out of somewhere, right? Because these are businesses. So I also get why they're doing it, but I'm happy that Benidorm is not crossing this line and not putting these abusively high prices. So there is something good about it still. The second news that I wanted to share with you all comes from Benidorm town once again. And um, it's a brand new fire in the area of Armaneo. This is where the camping Armaneo is situated. And it's in Rincon de Loich. It's that specific area that's like the scariest. It was the scariest. It was the abandoned one. We have a couple of videos here on the channel so you can check it out. These are the captions on how they look like. And uh, that area is about to have a massive transformation. There's a road being built as well to connect with the future shopping mall. So there's a lot of things going on. And obviously the people who live there, a lot of them don't have a right, like a legal right. They're not the owners of the property, uh, but they're living there like big, huge mansion houses, all typical Spanish style. So uh, what they did is that they've caused several fires back in 2023. I'm sure you remember uh, a lot of smoke everywhere. We've even showed you a video about it from Benidorm Palace. We have a short video about it. And we've seen the um, helicopter, like the small airplane, specific firefighter airplane, pick up the water right here from the Bay of Benidorm. It was really, really scary. There were sirens all over the city. A lot of people had to be evacuated. I'm still getting chills when I'm talking about it because that was um, something really unexpected. That was something really, really serious. No one got injured, luckily. But this time, another fire was originated in exactly the same area uh, because of the burning of the garbage. So someone deliberately set on fire uh, some garbage out there. This time it was only one area, specific area where the fire started. So. People are alert there on the campsites as well. People who pass through with the cars, you know, as soon as they've seen smoke, they've alerted firefighters and police immediately. So it was not as bad as the 2023 uh, was. This happened actually, I think it was yesterday at 11 in the morning. So not a very good thing to do. And uh, probably it will keep happening. Probably will keep happening. They will clean the area back again and then there's going to be litter back again and we'll start all over. But it's because people don't want to leave. They do not agree with the brand new changes that will be in that region. They do not agree that their houses, even though they're not legally theirs, will be gone forever. That they need to search for another place where they actually will need to start paying rent. Uh, not as how they did it before. So not a good situation and it was calm and quiet for some time but and now it started back again because each time the machines are getting closer to that area things start all over so hopefully there's not gonna be huge fires any longer but people are alert as they never were the campsites everyone who work in that area everyone who pass every now and then as soon as they see something they will alert the firefighters so let's hope will not have any kind of serious um, dangerous situation any longer with it but surprised us yesterday it was extinguished in less than an hour so it wasn't that serious as the previous one was uh, luckily the last news that i wanted to share with you all is about the benidorm gastronomic this event starts from 1st of march i will publish you directly in our community tab here on the channel if you go to view our channel Benidorm by Anna and right where shorts, videos, lists of reproduction, there is community tab. If you click there, you'll see all our posts and there will be a post shortly today or tomorrow with all these dates and all these different events. Basically, what's happening is that since 2010, uh, Benidorm's uh, municipal hall and especially the tourism area is collaborating with the association of bars, restaurants and cafeterias in Benidorm town and they've created since 2010 which has been already 13 it's a 14th year probably that they're doing it Benidorm gastronomic what is it to be exact these are 
several weeks throughout the whole entire year from March till November more or less where Benidorm um, offers to try out either different plates, meals or drinks for really, really cheap prices. And it's a contest of a kind. You get it, you vote and then they choose the best meal or the best drink or the best uh, something. Depends on which contest it actually is. So starting from 1st till 10th of March, that's the first one, the closest to us, will be uh, the thing that's called Jornada de Cuchara which is basically a cuchara is a spoon okay so these are spoon meals like this one right here you can see on the screen uh there's different broths there's different maybe um specific spanish meals that are eaten usually with a spoon these ones will be presented there should be a complete list shortly on the visit benidorm website on the town halls website uh, that will give us an idea of which places are participating in this contest and usually the prices are between two and a half and three euros for a plate so you will be able to try it out and if you're a food lover if you love to get to know different types of cuisine especially mediterranean gastronomy it's so so rich and incredible there's such a big variety in it so check it out because it's going to be way cheaper than it normally is afterwards in june is gonna be the next stop in june from 14th till 21st we will have the contest of tapas so a lot of places will be participating and the tapa probably will be for like for two two and a half euros more or less afterwards contest for cocktails this one will happen in september between 13th and 22nd of september all the best cocktails, all the most interesting cocktails for a lot of places here by the beach as well in the old town in Rincon de Loich in the British area so that you could vote for your most favorite one, the taste, the most tasty or maybe the most creative one or unusual one. Uh, and then in October slash December, we will have the rices, which means paella, uh, arroz, abanda uh, in the oven. There's a lot of different types of rices here in Spain. It's not only paella. So uh, Valencian rice, for example, made in different styles with different types of ingredients. There's so many of them. And this is when between 25th of October till 3rd of November, you will be able to try these out and vote for your favorite O1. Gastronomy in general is very important. Food is very important in Spain. And I do suppose for all the Mediterranean area, it's a part of our culture. Spanish even have this thing that's called tapeo when they go for tapas and they go from one teeny tiny bar to the other to the other with their family, friends, relatives, uh, or even by themselves, but not as common. And that's why they try a lot of different tapas, they grab some drinks uh, and they sit down, they chat because they do not gather at home. When they, when they gather with friends, they do not do it at home of anyone. They don't invite guests over. What they do is they gather inside of the bars and grab some tapas and some snacks. This is what's called tapeo. So it's a huge part of our history. It's a huge part of what Spain is and people love nice food they love nice drinks quality wine or beer or whatever else they are drinking and some nice either seafood fish meat vegetables anything people love nice quality food here and spain spanish food has a lot to offer so try it out if you will be here and check out all the dates because maybe you're coming at some of these dates when we do have these different contests and celebrations and now let's have a short walk and let's see let's discover together what weather is waiting for us this whole entire week will it finally be raining will it be colder than it was let's find out it's nine in the morning right now, almost 9.30. And look at this, the sun is giant, shining perfectly here. There was a really, really strong wind. It is still here every now and then, but it's not as strong as it used to be. There are still some waves, however, and the beach is looking very, very quiet. Some people are walking down the promenade, but there is no one at the beach and there are some tractors working right there in front of us cleaning the beach line before the brand new day so today it's going to be really sunny you can see it already there is literally no clouds not a single cloud except from this small piece right here but it still allows the sun to pass and this is what's going to be happening right now um 
north side the rain is coming slowly but surely to spain so here it shouldn't be raining on monday there might be some slight rain right here but nothing major because it's going to be covering all spain including the islands especially mallorca menorca as well will be raining so might get a few drops right here afterwards the sun will be back to our region and it will not be raining at least that's the information we have so far today it's going to be around plus 19 degrees it's not too much but on the sunshine it's all right and we are the warmest part in the peninsula right now not including the islands we are the warmest part in spain uh, starting from around wednesday next week we will get to the usual 2021 20, degrees on the sunshine maybe up till 23 so still nice weather 19 is also all right people are enjoying their stay someone's wearing flip-flops so it's not as cold especially for tourists as it might be for us who live here and who are used to warm temperatures thank you for accompanying us on today's latest benidorm news we wish you an incredible day and we'll see you in a new video tomorrow bye